Hello, we are back again mga ka -strong. And this is the third episode of my true life story titled, The Salt of My Life, Ang Alat ng Aking Buhay. I apologize for the last blog that I was carried by my emotion. It is by nature that if we feel sad, normally we cry. Because if you laugh, that is another story. Some people or friends also, if it's your crying time, it is their laughing time. And be careful and avoid this kind of people around you. Just keep yourself rising, mga ka-strong, to make them sick and sad every day. The only way to defeat the devil is to always wear the most powerful weapon, the Book of Life. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful, and is more sharper than two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of souls and spirit and of joints. Wow! You see how powerful this is the most powerful armor and sword to defeat the sinner in this world. Mark my word, you cannot keep a good man down. According to the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 16, For a just man falleth seven times, and riseth up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. You see? So be careful. Those who allow themselves to be corrupted with envy and jealousy, bear in mind that the God that we are serving is a fear God of all. He gave us all the power to cast out the devil spirit living within us. And everything we do, we do it in the name of the Lord, and all these things shall be added unto you. The God that we are serving is an omnipotent and omnipresent God of all. All things is naked unto His side. We don't have the right to demand because He is all-knowing God. Whatever blessings, big or small, that was been bestowed upon me, I work for it with an extra mind. I never steal people's money in my life. So God knows what He is doing. I really deserve all these blessings and blessings to come according to His riches and glory. One thing more, I never hurt anyone in my life physically or mentally, nor take advantage of anyone. If somebody says that I have done bad to them, the truth is, I am the victim here. Soon, I will share to you this part to avoid anyone to be the next victim. This chapter of my life will be the survival of the fittest. The survival of the fittest. This will be coming soon. So going back to the continuation of the episode 2 titled, The Salt of My Life, Ang Alag ng Aking Buhay. When I went back to Mangkayan, I stayed at the first floor of my eldest sister's house. It's about 3 kilometers away from our house in Poblasio, Mangkayan. During market days in Mangkayan and Abatan, I woke up early in the morning, carry all my stuffs, and go to the market. Maybe, more or less, we are 20 sidewalk vendor of salt. They called me the queen of salt, Rina ng Asin, because I always have the highest say. I made a program that every Monday, I go to the bank to deposit my gain. That is the sweetness of salt. Five months later, here comes the lost monkey with his backpack, with some pieces of his clothes on. After one month staying with me, he asked me a favor to go to Wedro 5000 as his cash band to apply in Dangwabas as a conductor, with a promise that it is more easy for him to bring me some groceries to add to my salt business. 
I just couldn't imagine the next level of my business, so I am in a hurry to go to the bank and give him my hard-earned money. Thinking that someday from salt vendor, I will become a grocery businesswoman. Then he went to Baguio City, February 1986. When he left me, I was one month pregnant and he already knows that. For the third time, it's happened again. Every time I am in the market, I only, I'm always hoping that one day he will just appear in front of me with a surprise of groceries. But after one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months pass, eight months, one month before I will deliver my first baby, I decided to go and find him in Baguio City. It so happened for me, it's easy for me to locate his cousin because their house is just near the happy homes where we are selling the scrap of my mother before. His cousin brought me to Balatok and we landed in a store owned by a a short, beautiful, and white complexion lady. I introduced myself as the sister of my ex-husband, and she told me many things how this monkey Rakesta enjoyed his single life. After a few hours, here comes the monkey Rakesta of Balat. He came with me back in Mankaya. October 31, 1986, I gave birth to my baby boy, my eldest son. After one week of giving birth, the queen of salt is back in the market. After some time, we transferred to the old victory kitchen house of the De Los Reyes family that I mortgaged in the amount of 10,000. I put up a little, little store and in October, he was hired in Lipanto Mining Company as a miner. And in November 1987, I delivered my second baby from Kalinga. After some time, we transferred to the old Vigiri kitchen house of the De Los Reyes family that I mortgaged in the amount of 10000 I put up a little, little store in there. In October 1987, he was hired in Lipanto Mining Company as a miner. And in November 1987, I delivered my second baby boy. From Kalinga, my mother followed me and helped me to raise up my kids. She taught me how to make money buying scrap and put some piggery in the backyard of the house that we are staying in that time. After, after a year, my sister cannot pay the mortgage of the two and a half hectares of rice farm that is supposed to be the inheritance of the four youngest in the family, three boys and I as the youngest group. The older sibling's inheritance is allocated in our place of origin. My mother and I went to meet the Mord Gigi in the house of ex-mayor Paterno Lospian, but that time he is our lawyer. My mother questioned the mortgage on how she allows to give money to my sisters without her consent. My mother doesn't want to put his kids in trouble, so she just asked a little amount. Then Atornulus Pian helped us. So the mortgage released the money. My mother helped me to build a house in the lot of Campos family just near the house where we are staying. After we are all settled in our new house, my mother leave us and went to Comillas to find a living. After the earthquake, June 16, 1990, all my five mother pigs that was pregnant that time untimely delivered their babies. So in 1991, I decided to sell all my mother pigs to apply to work abroad. My eldest son is four years old and my second is three that time. My two babies cannot sleep without their mother with them. But on March 17, 1991, 
It is a heartbreaking moment in my life to leave my kids at their younger age. But I need to do so to be strong to face the reality of life for their future. It was a night time when I landed Hong Kong Airport, the land of the Fragnance Harbor. To all my ka-strong, especially to my co-OFWs, always remembers these words. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 Be strong and of good courage fear not nor be afraid of them for the Lord thy God he it is that God go with thee he will not fail Amen Amen Mga kay strong we will again stop in this part and those who were not able to subscribe to my YouTube channel don't hesitate to sub subscribe Raise the notification bell so that you are always be notified to our next content. To all our viewers, secret viewers, subscribers, thank you, thank you once again, and God bless everyone. To be continued.